Hello and welcome to Histories of Blast. I thought I'd share uh, a technique that I uh, used for uh, organizing the back seat of our tow vehicle, our red pickup truck, a Nissan Frontier. So uh, stick around uh, and if you enjoy the video, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And as always, I'd like to have you subscribe. If you're not new to Histories of Blast, you may have seen the video about our entry into the RV camping community with a GeoPro travel trailer called Merryweather, or our earlier vlog about a camping adventure from Pennsylvania to Montana and back with a truck tent, on which we published a review. When we decided to become long distance campers, we added three major components to our mid-sized pickup truck's load plan. I'll put links in the description to the manufacturer's or Amazon store, as well as links to YouTube reviews on these products on other channels that I found useful. And I'll just briefly show them here by way of introduction to my DIY project to build frames to hold them securely in place in our back seat. In no particular order, there's a portable base station from hardened power systems for my mobile two-way radio for operations on amateur or ham radio networks wherever we travel a 12-volt 20-liter compressor refrigerator from Alpacol, and a 400-watt-hour solar generator or portable power station from Goal Zero. Each of these need to be in the cabin and not in the truck bed for convenience or for power from the truck's 12-volt system. Now we have a cat. We left her in the care of our house sitter during the truck tent adventure, so the radio box and fridge were okay just sitting on the back seat, along with our camera equipment and other stuff. But with the move to a travel trailer and the discovery that Tabitha is a really good traveler, came the need to create a safe environment back there for her and her carrier slash she shack <laughs> and a litter box by Petmate, which we got at PetSmart, which actually fits on the floor between the back seat and the front seat back. By the way, everybody loves this Mr. Peanuts carrier. Us, the folks at the vet, Tabitha, everybody. Tabitha really does use this carrier as her safe space. There's a link in the description to the Mr. Peanuts Amazon store. So I got to work in the garage during the pandemic lockdown in the spring of 2020 and built two kind of Rube Goldbergish frames out of PVC pipe and fittings to organize the space to accommodate Tabitha and securely hold the radio base station and refrigerator. I'll go step by step on my build but my real purpose is just to show you what can be done and maybe give you some ideas for how a similar project might be useful in your particular case. Needless to say, this is not a one-size-fits-all solution. Different truck makes and models will require the same trial and error process that I followed. One thing was clear from the start, and that was that a two-story approach was needed to fit everything and everybody back there. I used one-inch diameter thick-walled PVC pipe throughout. Tabitha's carrier and the mobile ham radio share the driver's side. The frame rests on the seat with an extension fitting behind the headrest to hold it securely in place. Note the short legs extending down on the rear of the bottom to provide four solid points of contact. A sealed lead acid battery makes the overall weight of the radio box 20 plus pounds. I started by trial and error fitting and trimming one side of the frame. Then, using the empty radio box as a sort of template, I put the basic frame together. Here's the finished frame before spray painting it a dark gray, which is a close match for the truck's upholstery. The radio box rests on two steel tie plates screwed to PVC cross members. Tie plates are found in the electrical section of your local big box DIY store. That tote bag behind the radio box in this scene holds two folding solar panels for the Yeti 400 and the power cords for the Alpacool 20. I'll show you an exploded view shortly, but first, here's the driver's side arrangement from another angle showing where the Yeti 400 goes. When I took this picture, it was powering the Alpacool 20 using the 12 volt DC power cord provided by Alpacool. We've used this on a lot of trips over the past three years and it has been perfect for our needs. For a thorough review of its capabilities, check out the YouTube video that I put a link to in the description. Okay, as promised, here's the exploded view of the electronics bag. 
we purchased two 40 watt folding solar panels from Goal Zero when we got the Yeti 400. The Alpacool 20 came with an AC adapter and power cord in addition to the 12 volt DC power cord. Now I also fabricated a PVC frame for the solar panels. The back legs can be adjusted for the angle of the sun and they fold flat for storage in the truck bed. Let's move to the passenger side where the Alpacool goes. I followed the same two-story approach but had to allow room for opening the lid during short stops. And the requirement for the leveling extensions on the bottom rear on this frame was driven by the need to keep Alpi. Everything gets a nickname. I know it can be irritating, can it? The need to keep Alpi's compressor as close to level as possible for max efficiency. The next few scenes show the same trial and error process at work. And here's the final result. The upper shelf holds our camera equipment with the shoulder straps slipped over the back of the headrest for added security. One final note. All joints on these frames are secured with small machine screws. Lots of machine screws. There's about a hundred for each frame. Instead of PVC glue. That way, if a modification or repair is ever called for, it's a simple matter to unscrew the necessary joints and the fittings can be reused. So that's it. These projects each took most of an afternoon to complete. They were kind of fun, and the frames proved their usefulness on our long camping trip to explore the frontier history of Ohio last fall. That's it for this time. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll take time to view some of our other ones. Thanks for watching. Please click the thumbs up icon to like the video and share with your friends via email or social media. I'd love to have you subscribe and if you do, please click the little bell icon so you'll get notifications whenever I post a new video. Goodbye!